In this video, we're going to take a look at creating a text favorite that is set up for a plan station, a plan offset, and the active profile elevation at that location. A text favorite can be used to feed information into Civil Labeler, or it can be used for automated annotation. Calculate portion of the text favorite is what we're working on here along with any static prefixes or suffixes. There are a lot of examples delivered. As you can see, I'm in a DGN library here called Common Text Favorites Imperial that we deliver. It has many examples in here. For example, if I wanted to look how to do a plan station, I can come in and see that it is under the field type of civil element properties, field subtype is plan annotation, and then the property there selected is point station. And then you'll see the particular settings. What we're going to do is we're going to create one from scratch. So I'm just going to select the top. I'm going to select to create a new text favorite. And I'm just going to call this so plan station offset profile elevation. Hit enter to that and then we want to go ahead and set our text style. If you want to do that, associate it. Um, so I'm just going to do uh, left center should be fine for our text style. And when we select our text style, it will go ahead and set our font for us and our size. And then if you need to override your justification, you can do that or set bold or italic underline here. And so once you have that initial set of properties, then we can go ahead and add to that. So we're going to go to our field type. In this example, it's a civil element properties. And then we want to go to annotation. And we're going to select linear and then plan annotation. And we're going to go to point. And then we're going to select point station. Now we can set our format. I'm going to go ahead and lock it down to two decimal places. And then I would do have a station equation. I don't want it to show the alpha or numeric station equation. I'm just going to tell it to go ahead and drop that. And then if you want to set the format uh, to a particular format, you can do that or you can let it use the active settings of the design file. So I'm just going to go ahead and set mine. And lastly, if you want to go ahead and control how the equation or the equation value, if you want to show the equation value, station equations, you can set that. And I'm going to turn on, say, preview and accept that. Now, I want to go ahead and add a prefix to that just by typing. And then I'm going to go to the end of my line, and I'm going to press return. And now I'm going to add in my offset value. And so for my offset, all I have to do is switch down here to point offset. And if you want to have a, let's say, for example, a negative prefix, and you might want a, a minus sign, or you maybe you don't want a, a sign on the beginning. You want for uh, the right a space RT. And for the left, maybe we want a space LT. And we won't show the negative sign at all. So you have those different options. On your label format, I'm just going to select uh, the master units. And for those master units, you can pick whatever you want here. So uh, you can use the active settings of the design file, which is typically what you want to do. But I'm not going to let it show me the subunits. But I am going to lock in my accuracy to two decimals here. And then for my thousand separator, I'm going to use a comma. And I'm going to hit accept, and that will put that in my field. And then lastly, I want to put in my profile elevation. So we'll put in our prefix for that. And this is going to be in a different location. So we're going to navigate down to the vertical in plan view. And here we can pick a different information. So we want to select our profile elevation. And again, you can uh, tell it to select only use the master unit readout. And I'm going to lock in my decimal places. You can use the active settings if you want to. And then we'll put the comma in for our thousands separator and accept that. Once we are done, we can select save. And now this text favorite will be usable either in the civil labeler or with automated annotation, depending on how you want to use it.